Yo, no way, my package from Kogo came. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to NTU Kids. Here today is a very, very exciting day. Like you saw in the video earlier, I got my package from Kogo Bearings. You will see what it is soon. I'm sure it says it in the title, but I cannot wait to open this box. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's get to this unboxing. So excited. Alrighty, let's go. Bubble wrap my favorite. Oh yeah. Here it is guys. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Welcome to the team. Congratulations on your purchase. You're now part of the Kogo Collective. We're de delighted and honored to be part of your journey. If you have any questions or concerns along the way, please let us know. Until then, enjoy the ride. Thank you. And look, it even has a little signature on who built my Colossus cage. But oh my gosh, guys. Look at this bling that I got now. How rad is that? That is so awesome. I did the red, white, and blue for America, and that is so sick. I'm so happy how this came out. Thank you so much, Kogel. They even come with these awesome stickers. I didn't even see this in the package, but they even sent me some hairball gold bears. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, step one, you're gonna have to take the chain off. Step one, done. Next up, take off the derailleur. Step two, done. Step three, take out that bolt and take out the derailleur cage. Alrighty guys, the cage is on. We're about to put it on the bike. Thank you very much to the customer service for helping me find the install page to install this. And so yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, the cage is on the bike. Look at how smooth those bearings are. It's been forever. So sick. Now let's get into how to customize and order your own Colossus. All right guys, let's get into customizing your own Colossus. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into my description and you will see a link that gives you free shipping when you check out, which is truly rad. Then you're gonna get to the home page and you're gonna see a custom button at the top and you're gonna wanna click that custom button. That'll take you to a different page where you see all of the different derailleur cage options. They have one for every modern day derailleur that they have out right now. And I have a SRAM Eagle drivetrain, so I'm going to choose that one. And then once I get to that page, I'm going to scroll down to where I see the Customize My Colossus cage. And then I'm going to click on that. After that, you will see all of these different color options that you can choose to make your very own Colossus truly yours. Which is really rad because I feel like that's something that really adds to your bike and something that really tells you that that bike is yours. The chance that you see someone with the exact same custom as you on, out on the trails is really rare, which is really awesome. They have so many different colors and they, I mean, look, you guys, you could even customize the back of the derailleur cage and the stop pin for SRAM drivetrains, which is insane how custom you can get with these. And then right here, you're gonna see me debating on which pulleys i should make red or blue and i'm going with an american flag theme and so we're gonna be customizing that right now and for me this like raw aluminum color is truly awesome in my opinion it is so cool what they do with the cmc machines there at krogel and then after that you're gonna see me look at all of the different um bearings that they have for options and then after that i'm gonna press add to cart and it'll be saving my um, cage and then that will help the builder knowing what I want which is really awesome and then you're going to get to your cart and then after that you will scroll down to where it says check out and you will put in all your information to where the Colossus cage ships to your house and you can pay for it which is really awesome so I hope you guys enjoy your Colossus cage and I really hope you like the customization well, now let's get into some riding clips
All right, guys, let's get into the review part. And I love this thing so dang much. It is so rad. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes my drivetrain feel so much smoother. And another thing that I realized when I've been on this, oh, and by the way, I've been on this for like two to three weeks now, um, is that I feel my oval chain ring a lot more, which I was not expecting, but I do. And um, I just really like the feel of this thing. It makes my drivetrain shift really smooth if you have it set up right. And it looks, I mean, look at this thing. It looks awesome. There is no complaint with that, how this thing looks. Another thing that I like about this is it has these three holes right here. And that's where you can put the spring in and make it either tight to where you have a lot of chain slack, medium, which is what they recommend because you get less chain slack, but it's also um, good for shifting still. And then there's a hard one where it gives you um, really hard tension and it lowers your chain slack, but it also makes your drive chain not run as smooth. So if, once again, if you want really, really smooth, you choose this one both the best of both and then the less chain slap so that was really really cool and another thing that i liked about this is that you don't have to get a new chain which is really hard nowadays because you can't find 12 speed chains pretty much anywhere and this thing is so durable this thing is like a tank you could drop this on the ground a thousand times from your roof and it would be perfectly fine yeah i'd get some scratches and stuff but what bike drivetrain does not have a scratch what mountain bike drivetrain does not have a scratch on it and yeah, the bearings spin for literally ever. Here's the bottom one. Oh, bad spin. It's not even doing them hard too. And another thing that I really like about this is that I could feel my oval chain ring more, which is not what I was expecting at all when I put this thing on my bike. And so I was kind of surprised by that, but I also really liked the feel because I felt like my oval chain ring was working. And um, so yeah. That's just a few of the major things that I like about it. But putting this thing on was so much easier than I expected. And I had some trouble when I was putting it on, so I called away their customer service, answered on the first ring, and they told me to go to their website, and they have their little help button, and you could find exactly which one you need so you can install it easier, which I was very, very grateful for because when I opened that one bolt up, I was like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? But it was so easy. My, my dogs could probably do it. It was very, very simple. Another thing that I wanted to say was, why don't you go give Kogel a follow at Instagram? Their Instagram tag is Kogel underscore bearings. So it would be really helpful for them to go give them a follow. Thanks, guys.